911, what is your emergency? Dispatchers talk to people on the worst day of their life. We are the connection between the citizen who needs help and the officer that can respond and help them. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Julie. Come on in, have a seat. Tell me about your role here at the city. I oversee all the operations of our emergency communications center. We are responsible for communications for the entire police department. What are the types of things that people should use 911 for versus our non-emergency line? Call 911 when there's any kind of a life or property threatening emergency that's occurring right now. So if someone's having a medical emergency and needs an ambulance, if you have a burglary that's occurring right now, or you see someone suspicious, somebody breaking a window or something, call 911. You don't need to call 911 if it's a crime that has already occurred, or if it's a nuisance call, the neighbor's music is too loud, or the dog is barking, you can call our non-emergency number for that. Julie, this is Kara. She's gonna introduce you to the day in the life of a dispatcher. You're going to need this. Ah, thank you. So Julie, today we're gonna to do a test call in the training room. We try to keep it calm, even if people are amped, because a lot of times they are. Right. It's understandable. A lot of times if we're calm, it'll calm them down. So you ready to do your test call? Best. Okay. 911, what's your emergency? I was just in an accident. What is your location? I'm, I'm at the intersection. I'm at the intersection of Australia and Van Buren. Is there anyone injured or needing attention? Uh -huh. I don't know. I, I think so. Someone's bleeding from their forehead and, and our airbags deployed. Okay. We'll advise the, depart the fire department as well. What are the vehicle descriptions? Oh, I'm sorry. What's your uh, name? Uh, my, my name is um, Sarah. Okay. And what are the vehicle descriptions? Um, I have a white Chevy pickup truck. Um, it's, it's like a bigger one, like a heavy duty. And um, the other vehicle that we hit, it's like a purple four-door passenger car. All right, thank you. I do have your call into, dis into dispatch and we'll be there shortly. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. It's stressful trying to listen, respond, and you know, use the, the system so that it can be communicated and dispatched. That was fascinating. It was excellent. You did a great job. I'm glad you got an opportunity to do that. Now, what do you say we go back out and take some real calls? Thank you. Nine one one. what is your emergency? You found your stolen vehicle? You said it's at 48th Street in Van Buren, underneath where? Okay, stay on the line for me and I'm gonna transfer you on over to Phoenix, okay? Now we're gonna switch over to the radio portion where we talk to our internal customers, which is the officers out on the road. Okay. So the only call for service that we have an officer responding to at this time is the traffic control. One, 12, 29 is negative, valid, class D, David. You can just go into that and then just say 10-4. 10-4. All right. Thank you, Kara, for spending some time with me this afternoon showing me about the important work that you do here for the city. Oh, absolutely. We'd love to have you here, Julie, and it was great. If you ever want an application, just let us know. <laughs> Thank you.